In this video, we will cover the process of setting up a vehicle and steering profile, as well as a full calibration for Steer Command Z2. Understanding how to accurately create a vehicle steering profile and navigate through the calibration process will ensure successful auto steering performance. First, we must create a vehicle. This can be done one of three ways by creating an operating configuration in any of the home screen operation apps, or by creating a vehicle in the vehicle setup screen, or lastly, you will be given the option to create a new vehicle before entering the steer command settings. We will be using this method to create the vehicle. To access the steer command settings, you must first tap the setup wrench on the home screen, then tap GPS guidance setup. Verify that steer command Z2 slash steady steer is selected from the steering drop down menu, then tap the wrench. Next, tap the green plus to enter the vehicle wizard. Select your vehicle type, then specify your vehicle make and model from the drop down menus. For this example, our vehicle is a Case IH 6130 Combine. If you happen to be calibrating a front-wheeled steered vehicle, you first specify the type from the drop-down menu, then select your make and model. If your vehicle make and model are not listed, you may select a custom vehicle, then manually type in the make and model. Tap the next arrow. For the remainder of the setup steps, be sure to have a measuring tape on hand for measuring all offsets. Now, enter the antenna offsets for the vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with dual track, measure as if there was a single receiver centered on the cab. We will then be accounting for dual track offsets in a later step. Tap the next arrow. Verify the name of the vehicle is as desired, and if so, tap the green check. Now, we can see our newly created vehicle as the active vehicle and profile. We are now ready to start the vehicle calibration. First, make sure you are in a large open area for the calibration. Second, you will need to be outside with a valid GPS signal in order to proceed. Tap Full Calibration to begin. Select the Auto Steer Control Method for your vehicle. The control methods will vary depending on the vehicle make and model that was created. For this example, our vehicle is a steer ready Case IH 6130 Combine and it is an AccuGuide ready vehicle. Tap the green check. We are now presented again with the antenna offsets. These will be the same as what we previously entered. If dual track is present, tap the checkbox. This will automatically enter a 27 inch offset to the left for the master receiver. Steer command assumes the entire dual track assembly is centered on the cab. If it is not, account for the additional left or right offsets at this time. Tap the next arrow. Enter the wheelbase measurement. Tap the next arrow. Next, enter the steering control module offsets. Measure to the center of the steering control module for all offsets and tap the next arrow. As you proceed through the entire calibration, you will be presented with icons and animations to inform the operator of what to expect during the specific calibration step. When this icon appears, that means the system will be steering the vehicle. When this icon appears, the operator will need to manually steer the vehicle. Tap the next arrow. The first calibration is for the steering kickout. This will determine what manual override sensor is being used. In the first step, center the steering system, then tap Step Complete. Next, rotate the steering wheel one half turn to the left. Tap Step Complete. Rotate the steering wheel one half turn to the right and tap Step Complete. 
The sensor type should now be detected and displayed. Verify it is correct per your specific installation and tap the next arrow. We must now set the manual steering threshold to point at which auto steer disengages. First, turn the steering wheel with the same aggressiveness you would typically use to disengage auto steer. A blue bar will increase in the threshold box and a high point will be recorded. Next, drag the slider somewhere just below the high point. This threshold reading will now be the point when auto steer is disengaged by manually turning the steering wheel. Plus and minus buttons may be used to make small incremental adjustments. You can test this threshold by turning the steering wheel again. If the kickout reading surpasses the set point, you will hear an audible alarm. This alarm indicates steering will be disengaged. If you must turn the steering wheel very hard to get the audible alarm, consider lowering the set point. This step may be repeated as needed to meet the operator's preference. The sensitivity slider will be present for all pressure style sensors. It may be adjusted if an operator ever experiences erratic kickout values or false kickouts while auto steering. Tap the green check. The next step will be the wheel angle sensor calibration. Begin by driving the vehicle in a straight line. Be sure to keep the vehicle in the specified speed range. Tap the next arrow. The vehicle will begin to calibrate for the center point of the angle sensor. Next, the vehicle will begin an automated turn sequence. While still moving forward, tap the next arrow to begin. The vehicle will make a full right turn, then a full left turn. It is now calibrating the outside points of the angle sensor. If the automated turn sequence is unintentionally disengaged, repeatedly by the kickout sensor, that means the kickout set point is likely too sensitive. To adjust, pause the calibration, then tap Adjust Kickout. Upon completion of the wheel angle calibration, you will be automatically advanced into the valve calibration. This calibration will be the longest and require the most space to complete. During the valve calibration, it is calibrating the valve deadband, steering rates, and stability. If in any step the vehicle begins to steer near any obstacles, the pause button may be used. The vehicle repositioned. Then tap Resume to continue to the calibration. This step of the calibration may also be completed in forward or reverse. After the valve calibration, there will be another wheel angle calibration that is similar to the first. It will make another left and right turn. It is calibrating additional left and right angle sensor points. Finally, the last calibration is for the SCM orientation. You will want to position the vehicle on flat level ground. Put the vehicle in park, then tap the next arrow to start calibrating. Next, turn the vehicle around and position it in the same location. Put the vehicle in park, 
Then tap the next arrow to start calibrating. For the last two steps, the vehicle will perform an automated turn sequence as it determines the orientation of the steering control module. Drive forward within the specified speed range, then tap the next arrow to start calibrating. The calibration has now been completed successfully. Tap the green check to accept. You are now able to successfully complete the vehicle setup and profile calibration for a Steer Command Z2 system. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.